Hey guys, what's up? Henjo555 here. And we're only one, two weeks away from E3 now. And, you know, June 5th through 7th, I couldn't be more excited. And there's one game that really stands out to me that has been officially announced to be unveiled at E3. And that is Pikmin 3, or presumably the sequel to Pikmin 2, Pikmin 3. And this game should be no less than amazing. And the thing with the Pikmin series, if you guys don't know about Pikmin, it's an amazing strategy puzzle-esque series, and it, there's a little bit of action involved as well. But Pikmin 1 came out in 2001, and Pikmin 2 in 04, and both games saw, you know, mild success, but for me, it's, you know, the fan base has grown, I've seen it grown, I've seen the angst grow for the next Pikmin game, and we're finally going to be able to see what this game's going to be about and it's going to probably be on the Wii U, not on the Wii. But, you know, it's been since um, 04, so we're going to go on 7-8 years now. And the bottom line with Pikmin, I'm going to give a quick synopsis. If you guys haven't played Pikmin, what it is, it's, it's kind of a strategy puzzle game. But the first Pikmin's a lot different than the second. With the first Pikmin, you had Olimar, which is the main character, the guy in the helmet. I'm sure you guys have seen or heard about Pikmin before. Um, he works for an international shipping company, I believe. But what he does is he goes ahead and he's in space and he gets a, a meteor, meteor hits his ship and he crash lands onto this planet. And eventually he finds Pikmin and all of his space parts are, you know, scattered across this planet. And you have to go ahead and find these parts within 30 days. And it's, you know, you can make this game as easy or hard as you want. You have about a 15 minute time limit per day. And you have to go to these different areas, find all the parts and then beat the final boss. Pretty fun. Pikmin 2 a little bit different. You have Louis and Olivar. This time, the company that Olivar works for is going bankrupt, and you actually have to go ahead and get go back to the planet where you found the Pikmin initially. It's assuming that you eventually did save yourself because in the original Pikmin, you only had 30 days of oxygen. But um, it's assuming that you did save Olivar, and um, you go ahead and go back to the you know planet and get a bunch of rewards and includes like seven up caps and you know a bunch of uh, product placement and Duracell batteries and stuff so pretty fun but Pikmin 3 looks amazing um I heard something interesting on a E3 board about maybe having me as Pikmin or maybe having your me be one of the playable characters maybe as a little bit of a bonus sideshow but bottom line this game looks I don't know it probably is going to be amazing I'm a huge fan of Pikmin. Pikmin 2 was my favorite game on the GameCube, and I can't wait to go ahead and get Pikmin 3 as soon as I possibly can. It's a huge incentive to get the Wii U if it is a launch title. But leave a comment below what you guys have to say. Um, also, I'm going to be posting my giveaway results soon, and a few other videos. I've got my DS collection set up. I'm going to probably just have it in one video. But leave a comment below what you guys have to say. Pikmin 3, anyone else interested in Pikmin? Thumbs up if you are, and uh, if you're not, then get into this series. It is amazing. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.